Hey everyone, this is Kevin Richards here from Rock to Stage NYC on YouTube and rpmvocalstudio.com on the web for voice lessons worldwide. I'm talking to um, singers out there. I got Somebody asked me a question if I could do a video on um, how they can talk to their band um, basically to respect them more as a singer. Singers can sometimes be treated kind of like a drummer. You know, like, uh, he's not really a musician, you know, he just sings and you know, that guy, you know, it's everything he owns is in a suitcase and he hits it with sticks. So they don't really respect you as a musician. Uh, the thing is, is that a singer is the focal point of the band, no matter how much the guitar player wants to think otherwise. The singer is the, if you're a dedicated singer, even if you play guitar, rhythm guitar and sing, you're the vocal, whoever's singing is the focal point of the band during that time. When it's guitar solo time, then the guitar solo, then the, then the guitarist is, uh, you know, he's the focal point at that particular moment. But for the bulk of the bulk of the song, the singer is the focal point for the audience. That's the person that's in charge. Now, if there's going to be button heads with other people with the band, you know, that's going to be an issue. Now, I can't give specific things because, too specific anyway, uh, because, you know, I don't know the dynamics of the people, the people that you're working with. But in general, over my sort of almost 30 years of working with lots of different musicians, um, if a guitar player or a bass player or somebody has told me, to, you know, sort of this is how, you know, you should sing, uh, you know, and they can't sing themselves out of a wet paper bag, you know, or it couldn't hand, it couldn't carry a tune if it had handles. Um, um, basically, what I said to them is, you know, you know, honestly, I don't tell you how to play your instrument. I don't tell you how to play your bass or play your guitar um, or play your keyboard or whatever. You know, uh, please don't tell me how to sing. Um, you know, I mean, if they have suggestions, you know, like in this song, you know, I want it kind of with this kind of attitude or, you know, Steve Perry-ish or James Hetfield-ish, you know, that's okay. Um, but they have to know your limitations as a person and that you can't just switch gears uh, and sound like other people or sing exactly like somebody else because they have their voice and you have your voice and you kind of have to kind of do with what you're given. Um, unless you're a tribute act, you know, then you're going to have a very specific roles of kind of what you need to sound like. But if you're just, you know, if you're doing your own original stuff like that, it's, it's, you got to find your own sound. You can't be shifting gears from song to song to song. Find what works for you. Um, and basically tell the other band members, man, listen, dude, this is what I got. This is what I got to work with. You want me to sing for you, man? Then just, you know, let me find my voice. You know, there's a, there's a, a sort of common story that goes on. And this is one that I know well. Um, you listen to the early records from The Who, and you can kind of tell that Roger Daltrey, the singer, doesn't really know kind of what to do with his voice because their, their music kind of varied in lots of different ways. Uh, some of it was just straight off rock. Some of it was kind of bluesy rock, kind of folky rock. And he was kind of didn't really, didn't really know what to do with his voice until they made the record Tommy. And he became the character Tommy. That's when he really found his voice as a singer. And basically, he kept that uh, identity up until today, um, who he is as a singer. And he kind of changed his whole look also as well when he became the character of Tommy. Um, so it's it's basically trying to find your voice within your band. Now, if you're the guy writing the songs, then you have more of an idea of you know who you are as a singer. Um, if you don't, Try to find out. I can't really give you too much advice on that because I don't know you. Um, but if you're in with working in the context of somebody else, you know, get to know you. This is how I sing. And this is the voice that I have. And this is what I can do. And let's work around that. You know, um, if they can't do that for you, man, jump ship and find another group of guys to work with. Um, there are plenty of musicians out there um, that you can try and work with. Form your own band or link up with some other guys. They're kind of more in tune of what you want to do. Don't get yourself stuck in a band that you hate where people don't respect you. Go to another band, man. Just It's not worth it to stay there and waste time and years with people that are really just going to run you into a wall. Um, if you're really serious about your craft and really serious about your singing, uh, find the right people to work with. I've been lucky enough over the years to have worked with enough of the right people um, to have some modicum of success. My original band back in the late 80s and early 90s had their kind of 15 minutes come around 1995, 96. Um, ever since then, I, you know, I got, basically, I just thought I'm too old, basically, try to, you know, make it. Um, so I've gotten into cover and tribute acts. And luckily for me, I've been able to 
mostly play with some of the right people. Um, you know, and you try, you get in with, you know, three guys that are, you know, you're all on the same page and you got one guy that's not. Well, how do you work with that? Well, you try to work with that as much as you can. If that guy just simply cannot get, get on board, man, out, get somebody else. Or go without him for a while. Um, you know, go without nobody. Work as a four-piece or a three-piece until you can find a person that you like. Um, you know, that's just the way that it is. Don't get stuck playing with people that are really just going to run you nowhere and spin your wheels for a long time and waste years of your life. Um, try to find the right people with the right attitude, the same work ethic that you have. Um, it also, it's also very good to have the same work ethic. Um, this, you know, the famous story of Kiss. You know, you got two guys in the band that have a, uh, a phenomenal work ethic, and you have two guys that kind of just want to kind of get by, so to speak, or have a work ethic only occasionally. Um, and that doesn't that doesn't work a lot. And you got two people or one person really carrying the bulk load of the work in the band, and the other people are kind of just kind of riding their coattails. That wears a band down after a while. You kind of have to all be actively engaged, all actively participating, all actively contributing. Um, and if people aren't, man, aren't pulling their weight, you got to warn them. If you don't pull your weight, man, you're gone. Um, don't just fire them. I hate that. You know, warn them that, you know, because some people, they just don't know. Uh, so let them know that, like, listen, man, we need you to pull more weight. We need you to come in here and, uh, you know, contribute more like everybody else. I mean, show up on time. Show up knowing the friggin' songs like everyone else did. You know, I spent a week learning these songs. And you come in and you go, well, I didn't have time. That doesn't fly in a band. Uh, if that's consistent, man, dump them. Big deal. Because they're just going to drag you under and waste your time. So don't get stuck with crappy, you know, sort of kind of sort of musicians, man. Find the right people. Work with them contribute, respect each other, love each other, contribute, make it a family unit, man, because a band is a relationship just like a family. Yeah, you're going to butt heads. You're not going to get along every now and then. But as long as you guys, you know, really, you know, sort of really respect each other and really care for each other, man, the band will endure. Uh, so this is just some friendly, fatherly advice from uh, me. <laughs> um, so please share this video. Comment below, please, if you've got more questions about this subject. Um, I'm more than happy to share my 30 plus years of experience in this. And until uh, next time, this is Kevin Richards. Oh, check out the links below there for discounts on my vocal courses and stuff like that. Share this video, subscribe, uh, all that. Till next time, this is Kevin Richards. Rock on, train hard. See ya.